You never know what could go wrong when your house is moving down the highway at 60, 70, 80 miles an hour. And uh, we were getting ready to cook tonight and noticed that one of our burners was completely off. That's strange. So we're going to show you how to fix that. It's what you do. The first thing you want to do is obviously remove the grill top and then you're going to lift the top of the stove and it actually slides out pretty easily and what's happened is the screw which thankfully we found actually came out so you can spend a few hours trying to fiddle with that to get it back on there or just grab another screwdriver and pull out this plate. And now on the bottom here, there's one only one spot for the screw. And I hate messing with little screws because my hands are too clumsy. But eventually here we'll get it. There we go. And then we're going to put this screw back. Now while you're at it, make sure that check to see that you still have a good point of contact on your igniter. Line it up correctly. And you want to actually place it in so that the gas will flow properly, just like you have on the other two. And apparently no, no matter the size of the screw, I'm going to fumble with it for a while. And while you have it open, obviously you can clean. Ours isn't too bad, but you can take a little vacuum or something and clean it. Make sure you're lined up. Go ahead and inspect your other ones and see if they're all still screwed in pretty good, those are all good. I'm good, we've got all of our connections and we can test it. And there you go. Now, I have to be honest with you, it wasn't this simple when I first started it. I was actually looking at it the same angle the camera is from here, not seeing that screw in the back and I was trying to screw that small little screw by hand and feed this down through it. It didn't take me very long to realize this couldn't be the proper way. So I took a moment, I stepped back, and I looked for an alternative. And by finding that alternative, it actually wound up being a three to four minute repair versus, I probably would have spent 30 minutes trying to feed that little tiny screw in there. So think about what you're doing. If it seems too difficult, it probably is not the right way. So take a moment, step back, look for an alternative, like I said. If you enjoyed this video, we'd appreciate a like. And of course, if you want more tips on full-time RVing or how to take care of your camper, or if you just want to follow along with Forever Honeymoon's adventures, do me a favor and hit the, eh, the subscribe button below. Thanks for watching.